Hello, N4H and H here. Oh, look at there. The power lines are acting up, and it's not even late in the day. It is 8.40 a.m. in the eastern time zone of the United States. That is clearly power line buzz, if you've ever wondered what it is. It's caused by arcing. Not so much arcing that we can see with the naked eye, by the way. Uh, when the engineer comes out from the power company to analyze this, they have an infrared uh, sensing camera, and uh, it'll locate the origin of the noise and then snap a photo of that particular piece of hardware that is causing it. And so again, what it is is arcing, <clears throat> and it usually has to do with the uh, air molecules being um, dry. If they're moist, it still wherever the piece of hardware is that's loose or dirty, there will still be current flow, but it happens at a much lower voltage. And so as the air dries, in other words, as you have less humidity, then the uh, it takes a higher voltage to produce the potential, which is one of the reasons you'll hear voltage referred to as potential, potential for current flow. And uh, I like uh, another way uh, that it's uh, in a different language and tension. So the higher the tension required to get that current to flow where that where that uh, loose hardware, dirty hardware is, um, you know, that means a higher voltage. And the higher voltage produces uh, the bigger uh, arcs. And, uh, you know, like I said, they're not usually noticeable to the naked eye, but the infrared sensor can pick it up. So let's see what the noise blanker in the FTDX 5000 can do. Those of you who own one know that this is a knob and button driven radio and this button right here is noise blanker. It took out most of it, didn't it? Now if I tap it again, wide mode I've shot videos about that before so you can go back and watch those for more detail but in this case <clears throat> the noise was gnarly enough that it took the wide mode to finish it off and there's some timing adjustments for wide mode and I've shown these in other videos and in fact this exists for other uh, transceivers as well FT891, 991, 991A, FTDX10, FTDX101. I mean, they all have these the timing adjustments. And in the in the 5000, it's here. This is the noise blanker width, noise blanker level. Now, this is applicable to the wide mode. And my magic numbers usually 33 and for the level and 7 for the width. You obviously want to run those as low as you can. Like I said, there's a whole video about that. So I'm not going to talk any more about that, but just show you that it took care of the noise. Let me turn the blanker off. You'll see right here in the display, by the way, NB and then W, meaning I'm adding the wide mode to the normal noise blanker. So it's an S5 noise level power line noise. Regular noise blanker, see the NB, wide mode. And so <clears throat> that wide mode is adjusting how, you know, how, <clears throat> well, some pulses are longer than others. Not necessarily with power line noise, but depending on what that type of uh, failure there is or whatever loose a lot of times it's a bolt um, it could be a dirty insulator various things even a blown lightning arrestor but uh, so sometimes that can create some gnarly noise that is beyond the realm of just normal uh, in our case 60 cycle pulses and uh, so the wide mode allows the noise blanker circuitry to search a little bit wider trap a little bit wider uh, noise pulses. But 
you want to keep that as narrow as you can, as narrow as, as will be effective because the more you essentially chop out, the more you risk introducing distortion into the received audio. But, okay, this is one of those mornings where if I were trying to have a QSO here with a weaker station, I would have no choice but use a noise blanker. But remember, noise blanker is a Band-Aid. In other words, it's just a bandage that will get you by until you can stop the source of the noise. I have already shot a video of this, and I have sent it to my uh, power company representatives. So we'll just see um, if they can respond or not. The last couple of times I've uh, been in touch with them, they're under man. They just can't find enough people that want to climb poles and work on such things anymore. Even just climb poles, period. Okay, well... Uh, thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it helpful and informative. Again, this is the FTDX 5000 MP from Yesu, but uh, other radios have similar noise blanker. Uh, they may not have what's called wide mode per se, but you can still go into the menu with most of them and adjust that timing. Uh, sometimes it'll be uh, instead of level, it'll be called rejection. And you may not have infinite control like this radio has. You may have like three choices. But, you know, nonetheless, the tools are there for you to uh, attack this type of noise. Now, if you've watched my channel for very long, I've shot numerous videos about various types of noise. Let's just be clear. These noise blankers are usually most effective against this pulse type noise like from power lines or <laughs> I would never put this thing in my truck, 45 pounds but ignition pulse noise, okay? They're not very effective against digital noise sources. A lot of the things that are coming on the scene and you know, these days where it's anything from a wireless phone charger to an LED light bulb, okay, you know, uh, it, it's not necessarily going to knock all that sort of stuff out, this broadband digital uh, noise or switching power supply noise, things like that. So don't get too excited but the noise blanker is usually uh, effective against power line noise. Now, that power line noise can get bad enough that the noise blanker can only diminish it. It can't knock it out. I've had it that bad before. I've had it approaching 20 dB over 9, and I yeah, basically was deaf. And uh, they came out here and worked on it. It took several trips. They called it playing whack-a-mole because they would find one source that was nearer to my house, but then after that one was eliminated, then I could hear the next one. And I could tell they were getting a little bit agitated after their fourth trip out, and they had gotten the noise level down to about an S3 or S4, and I, I, I didn't push it anymore. Um, but then after a while, another you know eight or nine months or so, or a year, I would report again and get them back out here. And they, they have eventually gotten it down to, uh, to basically zero as far as power line noise. And, um, but then it, you know, it's crept up over time and today is, uh, definitely worse than yesterday. Okay. Again, I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Thank you to the Patreon support team members who bring you these videos. I would not be able to afford to finance this completely on my own. So, they help defray the cost of doing this, and uh, it makes me uh, able to get down here in the shack and prepare and film and and um, uh, and produce you know these videos and get them uploaded and things. But uh, without their help to uh, offset the cost, I wouldn't be able to bring these to you. So thank you so much to the Patreon support team. Uh, join that team if you will. I will put the address uh, here on the screen. It's a uh, patreon.com forward slash n4 h and h and there are three levels of participation in that with some perks for the executive and vip level and if you would please click that like button that thumbs up that helps us out with youtube uh, just tremendous help it, it may not seem so but it's huge uh, also uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you do subscribe to the channel, be sure to click the notification bell so you won't miss another video. I usually upload uh, one or two a week. And uh, finally, if you would, share the video. Social media, text message, email, you share it with a friend. Hey, thanks again for watching and 73 from N4 H&H.